e, mambo mawili tu kabla sijakaribisha governor nataka niseme ni shukuru rais kwanza kuhusu bei ya mafuta najua your excellency bei ya mafuta imeshuka kwa shilingi tano jana umetuhakikishia kwenda january tunataka ishuke hata kidogo bado ikuje chini chini ya bei kidogo ili wananchi wapate diesel na mafuta ta na ile pe, pe, eh, mafuta ndio aweze kufanya biashara na kujikimu na rais we want to thank you the president has been very fair because he told us in december the fuel prices will continue falling down we want to ask the president to continue the same spirit ebra ikikuja january watangaze bei ya mafuta bado iende chini ndio tuweze kusaidia uh, wananchi wetu in the cost of living ya pili nataka niulize TSC kwa sababu nimeona walimu wengi hapa tumewapea pesa ya kutosha kuna wana walimu wako GSS Junior Secondary School kuna wale wako internship kuna wale wako contract there are more than 46000 across the country i want to ask the teacher service commission since you have the budget the contracts of most of our teachers is expiring in january i want to ask you to confirm our teachers into permanent and pensionable to avoid disruption of learning hapo january tunataka wazazi wakichukua watoto wetu january form 1 na wale wanaendelea cbc tusikuwe na msuko msuko katika sekta ya elimu tunataka hao walimu wapewe permanent and pensionable waendelee kufunza watoto wetu katika jss na ile implementation ya CBC na hao walimu tu ni kidogo ni watu 1046 wa kwa confirm rais pia amesema mwaka ujao tutaandika walimu wengine karibu hiyo kiasi ndio watoto wetu wasiweze kuumia mambo ya nimeona mambo ingine ya mambo ya nataka nishukuru tunapambana mambo ya madawa ya kulevya na mambo ya pombe nataka niulize county commissioner na county security team tafadhali tukue macho hapa kapsa pe tukienda hii masenta yetu kuna watu wanauza pombe mbaya mbaya mtu anakunywa hiyo pombe ni mwebamba asubuhi akiamka amefura na hii si kunaona ya cherarge hii ni kunaona nyingine mbaya hapo mtu anaamka macho ni red baba transformer inazibika so tunataka tuhakikishe tuseme ya kwamba wale wengine wanaoshughulikia mambo ya kupambana na pombe na tumekubaliana kama serikali wewe kama chief na nataka ni wafungwe machief leo machief wanashika watu ya pombe wanachukua kwa police station wanapewa cash bail wanarudi kwa ribu watoto wetu nataka niulize bwana Kindiki na wale wanahusika mtu akipatikana ameumba pombe mbaya na hiyo pombe inaua binadamu huyo mtu awekwe ndani mara moja na afungwe akae mbali na raia ndio asiharibu vijana wetu hapa na mimi nataka niulize kanisa through our bishop Dominic Mengishi kupitia Father Toror hapa. Tafadhali mtusaidie kwa hii partnership kupambana na mambo ya pombe na madawa ya kulevya na bangi. Hapa kila mahali watu wanauza na watu wanajulikana. They are known. Watu wenye wanauza pombe mbaya hapa center zetu wanajulikana. But the police is doing nothing about it. And that is why tumekubaliana police akikaa hapo zaidi ya 3 years aamishwe. Uh, kwa sababu wanaanza kuzoeana na majangili wanawacha watoto wetu wanaumia tuko na watoto wengi wanaenda rehab rehabilitation kwa sababu ya pombe na madawa ya kulevya i want to ask the church and i want to ask the government to partner with the church tupambane na hii janga sisi tutashangaa hii mambo tunasikia watoto mahali pengine hawazaliwi hatutaki ikuje katika kaunti ya nani kwa sababu tunataka vijana wetu waende shule wapate kazi wapate familia wapate watoto wakue watu wa kutegemewa hapo mbele na wakue wa Kristo kama ni vijana wakuje wakue eh, Catholic CMA kama ni akina mama CWA CWA Stormy ngao tujenetwa <laughs> so mimi i want to say that categorical na watu wengine wale jabi kerange but in the style mama le rama yera ko de college du yogo ara e mai la bosa tabi tu ko siru ko birun na bura mo ma bumi so we ya nwa ba ye ka sa ke ba ye ka le ra po de tak ma dawa ya kulevya o go na mo le ra go le ka sa ke to are ka sa ama na le ni sigi ke rito si ni usai amun ra bo ko go bi rehabilitate ama na lo nya na fada amun ya bo ke re ba na mo ka ni sa ka gi ni ma bo ke re dalen ge te te le gi bo be te ga ma ama ne ge ta re ke fada ko to are te 
tutaambia bishop nimemwambia personally let us see a way we can give a model and you know father john as you are our age imeja kwa losko kwa tuli sipenda nyama maka father to tarite ndai na tapisho ka go yan fathers aga go yan bishop amu aba se ba ngolo anzi mungu ko twe kwa mungu so ga go yan ya mwisho ni mambo ya ofisaji sisi kama Kenya na president amesema tukiwa pale eh, pale stadium nyayo simuliniona huko president mwenyewe alisema mambo ya ofisadi lazima ipigano kila mahali Kenya hii na turudi nyuma na tunataka tutoe mambo ya kitu kidogo kuanzia pale ofisi ndogo mpaka juu tunataka ukienda kutafuta ID unapewa kama haki ya mkenya yote mimi i want to assure you the president has made a commitment and will support him. Na nataka nimuulize rais ashikilie uchumi si mbaya sai. The economy has shown signs of recovery. Jana niliona ndugu yetu kwa heshima hapo Bungoma jana aliyekuwa prime minister. Akasema yeye yeah, anataka kusimamisha William Ruto. Wacha niulize yeye. Yeah, Wewe yeah. unaweza simamisha mtu mwenye Mungu alimchagua? Sio unatafuta kichapo ya Mwenyezi Mungu. Kwa sababu ya Mruto alikuwa president despite deep state, despite system, despite wewe kuungwa mkono na president Uhuru Kenyatta, lakini aliwashinda peupe mchana. Kwa sababu ya maombi ya kanisa, baraka ya Mwenyezi Mungu na kura ya raia. Si ni namna hiyo? Sio nataka nimuulize former prime minister kwa heshima. Tafadhali fanya mambo yako ya upinzani bila kuingilia mambo ya rais William Mruto. Rais hapo na mpango ya kubadilisha Kenya yetu ndio sisi wote tuende mbele. Na sisi hatuna shida Kenya ni demokrasia. Wewe kuja kufungua maofisi yako na sikia kuna watu wamefungua maofisi hapa ya chama ni sawa. Lakini ujue ya kwamba lazima uheshimu rais. Rais ukiheshimu rais unaheshimu rais. William Ruto ndio rais wa sasa. Wewe heshimu ndio siku ile itafika wakati yako wewe pia utaheshimiwa. So ile maneno ya kutisha ya chungu na mimi nataka niulize kwa sababu kwa heshima sana. Hawa watu walishindwa na maandamano. Sasa wameendelea kutini. Kila kitu wamechukua kutini, housing kutini, eh, mambo ya housing ya NHIF kutini, mambo ya privatization kutini, sijui mambo ya sijui kutini. Mimi nataka niulize eh, eh, judicial Bona hawa watu wenye wanapinga serikali wakikuja kutini lazima muwape order ya kusimamisha kazi za serikali. Na nataka niulize majaji si nini ni wa Kenya? Sasa mukisimamisha vitu vyote ya serikali kupitia kutini hawa wa Kenya watapata kazi lini? So I want to ask the courts of law hata nao mahakama zikuwe sensitive. Hii mambo ya housing mheshimiwa MC ya amaguzia hapa. Hii housing ikikuja watoto wetu wa hii kijiji yote watapata kazi ya kufanya kama yeye ni electrician kama wewe ni mtu ya e, mawaya kama yeye ni mtu ya kujenga kama wewe pia padri atapata pesa kidogo ile sa ile e, tumapili anene sakaka itaongezeka kidogo yani we are trying to create opportunities for the great people of our country mimi nataka niulize mahakama hata nao wako sensitive kwa sababu hao tuliwashinda kwa maandamano wameenda mahakamani na mimi nataka nimuulize rais asitishwe kama iko na any implementation of any government project the president should go on because at least kwa jia raia waumie tukingojea magesi kotini sio namna hiyo sasa rais alifanya makosa kusema sasa ene chai itashuka from 500 to 300 si itakuwa kila mtu atapata ene chai kama tumeona tumeunda sheria juzi ya kukreate three categories saa hii shida ya cancer tutakuwa na fund ambaye itasaidia mambo ya ku fight cancer sasa tuko na 3 eh, funds under NHIF act ambayo itasaidia wa Kenya. So I want to ask judiciary hata now they should be also be sensitive and know as a country they should not be issue important as of your view. Kwa wewe kwa kwa sababu of kwa fikiria kwanza kuhusu raia. Wajua ule kijana angepewa kasi kwa housing levy fund angebadilisha maisha yake namna gani? Wajua ule mtu angekuwa na ile NHIF angebadilisha maisha namna gani? Mimi kama mheshimiwa na gavana hapa 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 kila Jumamosi Jumapili tuko na mabarua zaidi ya mbili ya kuchangia watu ya hospitali. Lakini tukifanya kazi na ene chai itasaidia watu wetu. So mimi ndio nataka niseme hiyo niungane mkono but we will support the president. Ya mwisho 
na mheshimiwa bado unajua tulilimwa na wewe juzi hapo kwa session nyingine ya challenge in hapo inaitwa Berura FM ndugu yetu Morpa men akasema amenichukua potini akakulima sasa mimi sina shida amesema yeye anajua siasa sasa kama anataka siasa akuje awache kiti ya waziri akuje kiwanja tulimande kisiasa na mimi aliniandikia barua ya kunichukua potini 29 November 2023 this almost a month nimekuwa gate ya potini nikikoja hii nimekuwa nikikoja ya potini nimejipanga ninamkojea kotini kabisa na mimi si tishu atunichukue kotini ulifunge mdomo nisiongee mambo ya kaunti ya Nandi in fact naongeza volume kama ilikuwa volume 3 naweka volume 6 kwa sababu hapana tisha sisi na kotini mimi ni wakili mwenyewe wakili niko na ile master sasa naelekea ile pool events down sasa karibu na kuwa profesa kama profesa Farid sasa kama nimeshaongea sheria mpaka nimependwa kitabu yote sisi nini itatosha na mimi niko na Mungu na niko na raia nani. So namwambia asimitishe ati kotini kotini kotini. Mimi nataka niulize yeye awache kushika ile 10% nyingine. Alete 10% kanisa. Awache ile ya Chinese. Alete 10% nikuja kwa kanisa ndio kanisa iende mbele. Si ni namna hiyo. So namngojea kotini mimi simuogopi. Aende kotini hata kesho. Na yeye sabuka flight kesho tukutane mlemani. Hapana tisha mimi. Hapana. Kama niko na raia na Mungu oh 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 hapana bana tisha mimi mimi simu ya kusukuma hivi eh aweze sukuma mimi waacha nikwambie uweze sukuma mimi na kama ni about 2032 succession politics sita sita kupigia magoti sisi president ule amruta amalize 10 years atatuambia college community itaenda wapi Kenya itaenda wapi simu tukuja kukimbia mbele mbele na hata kwa kimila yetu walisema uwezi read baba yako kama yuko hai si ni namna hiyo sasa huyu anataka kuridhi baba yake akiwa hai si hii laana analetea sisi na mimi bado kijana mdogo na mimi naogopa laana so magali ngalo kuria kwa gindi kwa hiyo akosabe na noma kwa kali amreno ani na kama kwa batai akotukosabe kwa akotukubike nyere darabuta oloko tolo neto maonge suswa kali amangi kwa darabuta ubirie mwana go mi 2032 kwa baka ni mi kone kwa kali jinyu akoloko kenya yuko mazunga ni mbona na noma Kongo to haya tebe to kwa jamii bori yetu sawa lakini gali ame muite nye kalu bori yetu muita idu ebu kai kwa kati na kana na mauno so arau sai wa bi kafka asu komang kabe sa mawe galete ate te anha kene wong 